Hello everyone and welcome back to the Pikmin 2 bonus series. I'm Ultigame Master 1 and today in segment 5, the final segment of the series, we're going to take a look at the sales pitches provided by the ship on all of the treasures that we have collected. I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait to hear the ship yap on and on and on about the treasures that we've collected, so let's go ahead and get things started. We'll start with Cupid's Grenade and to access the sales pitch, we press the negative button. Here we go. Fate's tapestry has unraveled. Tomorrow weeps. Romance has fallen. Love is madness. To mend the rift between two cross lovers, this is the ultimate weapon in Cupid's arsenal. It's just a cherry. I'm not really sure how that stimulates love, but I guess we can go with it for now. Sunsea Berry This fruit is born of bright sunlight and cheerful warmth. Come, all you gloomy naysayers. One bite and even sad sacks will become full hearty optimists. Eat one today and change your life. Heidi eat one for sure. I do like strawberries in general, if I'll be honest. They're so good. Combustion Berry Everything is best in moderation. This fruit is the perfect example of too much of a good thing. Its devastating sweetness is like an act of violence on the palate, scouring all with succulents. That is true. That is true. And that's why I like strawberries. I like to eat them all the time. Seed of Greed This item's docile efficiency evokes images of wealth and greed. Behold, life's essence. I guess that's a well said, Shep. Though I don't really see how that is a part of life's essence. Disguise Delicacy Fruits cannot be judged by their outer coverings, no matter how hairy. This one is quite yummy. It is times like these that make me wish I were equipped with advanced taste capabilities. Well, unfortunately for you, that's not possible because you're a machine. And machines can't taste, as we all know, so sad for you. Insect Condo a wash in color and sugars, this item makes an ideal home for many insect species. I am sure this is valuable to the scientific community, but it has little value as a commodity. Sure. Whatever you say, Shep. I have no idea what he said, by the way, guys. Citrus Lump. The thick, acidic rind of this item is proof positive of its highly elevated mental functions. When I assess it, I am somehow reminded of a particularly hateful superior. Hurry up and devour it! So it reminds you of Olimar. That's cold, Ship. That's really, really cold. Spiny Alien Tree Delicious fry or baked, this is an invitation for your taste buds to the world of natural delights. As superior as I am, I must leave recipe recommendations to others. Machines are bad liars. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Anxious Sprout A quick growing plant, good for garden hobbyists or for a snack. Use it however you see fit. Um, I don't think I want to eat that ever. Child of the Earth This plant has grown fat on the blessings of the land. Its nutritional value must be high. I'm not really sure how that's nutritious. I mean, it's just a potato. Let's be honest here. Love Nugget. One bite and your heart will be filled with a burning fever. Is the feeling love or hallucination? Whenever I eat that, I feel none of those things. I just learned to appreciate the taste. Infernal Vegetable. A vegetable with spiciness beyond description None want to eat it, so it must be healthy. Nutrition conscious people of today, numb your palate and eat. Is it really spicy? I mean, it's just a regular green bell pepper. I don't see anything spicy about it. Anti hiccup fungus. One bite of this, and the surprisingly earthy flavor will send your hiccups packing. Older individuals with a history of heart conditions should devour this with caution. I don't think I would eat that, regardless. Even if I had a bad case of hiccups, I'd rather just drink some water. Toxic Toadstool This poisonous mushroom is so malicious, I cannot even bear to look at it. 
this fatal fungus overflows with venom and is perilous indeed. Then it shouldn't be eaten altogether. Though I don't really see how it is poisonous. Maybe it's just its appearance? Who knows? Grow Shroom. Eat one of these and grow to twice your normal size. Perfect for skinny beings unable to pack on any girth. I'm not even sure how to feel about that. But honestly, I wouldn't eat something like that. Unless if it was prepared in a dish of some kind. Onion Replica. This plant closely resembles the pride and joy of Hakotate. The comfort of its familiar form and the surprise of its unexpected taste mingle to form... Veggie Harmony? Try it in some hot soup today. Onions in hot soup? I don't think that's even possible. Well then again, maybe it could be. Maybe one of these days I'll try onions in soup, maybe not, I don't know. We'll see. Science Project. The perfect plan for extra credit research for a Hakotate Elementary Pupil Science Fair. You can be the dad to rely on to help with homework as long as you possess this beauty. So it basically grants you good luck in helping pupils with their homework in school. Fascinating. Pilgrim Bulb. Life finds a way across galaxies. Can a plant from a primitive planet take root in Hakotate's soil? Won't you invest in this romantic pursuit? If I was on Hakotate, I'd go for it. Arboreal Frippery. Perfect for those who love natural designs in their home, this leaf applique is a bargain. Use it in pieces or cover an entire wall in leafiness. Yeah, I mean, it could be useful for stuff like that, decoration-wise. Conifer Spire. Life is full, but short. Is this one of those short-lived life forms that changes shape as it ages? Even though it is dried out, it has not lost its unique charm. It is rather unique and charming. Armor Nut. This common ordinary nut somehow reminds me of myself and fills me with sadness. Really? How so? Because you can't think and act like a human? Corpulent Nut. This fellow has consumed more nutrients than necessary and now possesses superior fatness. In our harsh world, this is a lifestyle to envy. I'm not even sure how to feel about that. I mean, I don't feel envious to being fat. And I don't think I want to go any further with that. Honestly, I, I just don't know how to feel about it. Meat of Champions. Think you can eat it all? Then start eating. That is the goal this giant piece of meat incites. It has just the right texture and a thick slab of fat that will make all gourmets, epicures, kings of the table, and queens of the buffet howl with delight. Or so I have assessed. Well, let's hope that your assessment is true. Hideous Victual. The consistency of the half-cooked yolk says, mmm, good. It is packed with nutrients too. I can sell it, but I have never eaten it. I am unable to eat it. Not even a nibble. Again, because you're a machine. And machines can't eat. Well, unless if they were given a specific function to. Meat Satchel. All things hunger for meat, correct? Listen to the inner beast. Eat. 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 This is true. I do crave meat from time to time. In fact, I'm even craving meat right now. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. I'll do so after this recording. Taste sensation. In this modern world of artificial foods, all things taste the same, despite your dear tongue buds. If that describes you, then this is for you. Its flavor is the balm to heal your wounded soul. I would like to try that honestly. And I don't think all foods in the world taste the same. I mean, let's be honest, we all have different taste buds. So it's kind of difficult to assume that everything tastes the same. There's some 
flavor to everything, and even other characteristics to particular foods. Triple Sugar Threat This will satisfy any sweet tooth. It begins with savory softness, then fills the mouth with fluffs of flavor, and finally overwhelms with the river of sweetness. It is a three-pronged tongue assault. Honestly, I would like to try that one day. I really, really would. Compelling Cookie Is your palate conservative or adventuresome? Either way, this taste will ravish your mouth. For those who savor flavor, this new delicacy will have you questioning your ideas of taste. I taste it. Impenetrable Cookie It is hard. Really hard. Too hard. So hard that you're not sure you can eat it, even though you must. This hard snack is infused with the essence of stubbornness, and you are powerless to resist it. Um, I'm pretty sure that if I took a bite into that cookie, either my teeth would crack, or I would lose them all together. Seriously, I would not want to eat something like that, if that were to happen. Bug bait. I have a bad feeling about this particular item. I want to sell it with all possible speed. Psst. Bargain price available. Please, buy this quickly. Now! <laughs> He's terrified of that item. Imperative Cookie. One look at this pattern and your head spins, your vision fades, and a voice commands, Eat this! You know, this is true. Whenever I look at the design to the cookie, it makes me dizzy for some reason and compels me to eat it. Such a weird feeling. Comfort Cookie With this, your legs will not fall asleep even when you sit with your feet tucked beneath you. The sugary material of this cushion infuses your whole body with warmth and comfort. But it's something you don't rest on, it's something you eat. Well, if you're human. Succulent Mattress Sweet to the taste and touch. Sleep on this magical mattress and dream of a land of sweets. Again, you don't sleep on it, you just eat it. But then again, if you were a Hakotation, then I could see how one could sleep on it. The same for this item as well. King of Sweets Humanoid desire knows no limits. Some things can never be known or understood. And no researcher, no matter how supreme, will ever tire of consuming this thing. It contains a mystic flavor born of the cosmos itself, and is said to change flavor as it is eaten. Change flavor? How so? I mean, I would imagine it tastes like chocolate, and the chocolate flavor just stays there without it being manipulated to some other kind of flavor. Enamel Buster Behold, a magical candy to make the children of Hakotate weep with uncontrollable cravings. Pure, undeniable sweetness. Unavoidable tooth decay. Who cares? Enjoy the here and now. Uh, I don't think I will. Because I don't want to eat too many sweets because I might end up losing all of my teeth afterwards. Or at the very least just rotting them. To the point in which they become painful to use to eat stuff. That's why I hold back on sweets. I really do. Time and time again, I will eat sweets, but not too much of them, if I'll be honest with you guys. Diet Doomer. Alas, we machines know nothing of eating. The ultimate pleasure. If only I had a mouth. Yeah, Shep, if only you did have a mouth so that you could taste stuff. Or then again, maybe that's a bad idea because... Constantly, humans will hear you yap all the time when they want you to shut up. Like I want you to now. But alas, you're doing this. Pale Passion This will save our loveless age. Yes, it is a romance-filled addition to the Sweet Tooth series. The sweet aroma will attract members of the opposite gender. Hmm, I wonder if it actually will. One can hope. And maybe it does. White Goodness no dreams? Take love. No love? Take sweets. This is the most potent item in the Sweet Tooth series. I think I can agree with that. 
chocolate cushion. A sweet tooth's dream. Is this real? Or am I dreaming? If I had teeth, I'd be nibbling with vigor. But again, you don't have a mouth and you don't have teeth. So you can't nibble on it. Sweet dreamer. A comfy, not too sugary bed. Youngsters who sleep here will have the sweetest of dreams. I wish I could have the sweetest of dreams every time I eat that. Not sleep on it, but just eat it. Confection hoop. This sugary delight has even a machine like me wishing to partake in its deliciousness. What a sweet looking circlet. It does look pretty tasty. Pastry wheel. This is perfect for the kitties. A small, well-formed ring of sugar. Go on, gulp it down. I gulp it down, honestly. So I guess the main moral that we have here is if you don't have dreams, then you take love. And if there's no love, then you just consume sweets. Therefore, it could just give you a positive feeling once again about life. Great message there, ship. Possess squash. This mutated guard of titanic proportions is filled with bad seeds. A score if you adore revulsion. Sort of? I guess? It depends on who you spread the idea of revulsion on. Or what, even. Fossilized Ursidae. Put this in a natural history museum and watch the visitors line up waving money. This giant statue was found on a savage planet and comes with its own rumored curse. Does it really come alive under a full moon? Own it and find out. I highly doubt it. If it did, it would be dangerous. Colossal Fossil A colossal fossil for collectors of bone. Bones this big make bone houses seem not so crazy. Bone houses? That doesn't sound too pleasant. It may seem like a pleasant idea on Halloween, but any other time? No, that's just creepy. I mean, seriously, that's just downright creepy. A bone house on any time other than Halloween? I'm pretty sure people would just run for the hills. Leviathan Feather. All that's been discovered of this titanic bird is a single feather. Whatever did it look like? Your imagination is the only tool needed to paint a picture of this dream, or nightmare, bird. Well, us humans know what birds look like. Alamarnite Shell A fossil of an ancient sea inhabitant, it is most desirable despite its unappealing name. Captain Alamar named it without consulting anyone. He could have at least named it after his faithful spaceship. Uh, no, because you're a jerk. I think that the name Alamarnite Shell is more fitting. Let's be honest. Fortify Delicacy A twisted shell whose surface is covered in spikes. The durable housing protects a meal that is said to define deliciousness. Where the meal went is known only to Captain Olimar's crew. Yeah, I wonder what did happen to that creature. It probably got devoured. Scrumptious Shell this flavorful item's texture is most agreeable to any life form, or so my data suggests. Do statements like these from a machine without taste buds strike you as odd? Kind of. I mean, you can only trust humans with taste buds and not ships without taste buds. Memorial Shell All that remains of a monster shellfish is a sparkle. Is a sparkle. Read that with the wrong tone. Again, the sole proof of its existence. Does this not make you want to treasure it? Also, I should learn to read with the correct tone. But still, I wonder so much about this show. Mysterious Remains Snickety, snackety, snip. Think of the colossal creature that had pincers like this. These are the only remains, so your imagination can run wild. Imagination knows no boundaries. Unfortunately, that is true. And the thoughts that I have for whatever happened to this creature with this mysterious remains. 
Kind of savage. I'll just put it at that. Crystal King. Collectors of the rare Assemble. This is a one-of-a-kind specimen of a unique crystal life form. Proof? True collectors need no proof. This romantic piece could be yours today. Proof may be necessary. Future Orb. Is the future bright or dark and dreary? If you are worried about tomorrow, this is for you. This multidimensional crystal visualizes, visualizes the branches of time and displays the future. I got to learn to pronounce words more clearly. And seriously, I do wish that something like this was real in the world. That way, when we're all worried about our tomorrows or the future, we can know exactly what's going to happen and be well prepared for it. I certainly do hope that futures of happiness await us all. Gyroid bus, gyroid bus, I'm just gonna say gyroid, I'm sorry. This looks exactly like the gyroids that have become so popular on planet Hakotate. Also an Animal Crossing. Its pitiful expression is beloved by the Hakotate youth. It would be nice to have one of these. It'd make a nice decoration for my house. Sort of. Unknown Merit. Decades of toil with nose to the grindstone. Insulting orders swallowed without a hiccup. Such is the life of a salaried man. His name will not be remembered. His family will not understand. But if the results bear out his efforts, that is enough. Now, nose to the grindstone, drone. I feel the same way at work, if I'll be honest. I mean, it has happened to me. All I care about really is just the results leading to positive work in the future. And that's good enough for me. Lustrous element. Such radiance, such shine. Like magic, this product stimulates greed in, an, in all intelligent life forms. I got to read more slowly. I suck at reading. Bring your wallets and gather around, buyers. Yep. That just defines greed. Mirrored element. All reason flies in the face of this sparkle. It's not flashy, but it still inspires avarice. I have no idea what avarice means. I'll leave a text slash annotation that identifies the definition for that word. Vorpal Platter This shiny disc sparkles beautifully, but its edge could effortlessly shear through the armor plating of a battle cruiser. Is it not true that all great art is edgy for its time? That was a bad pun. Buy this landmark piece today. Handle of care may not be suitable for small children. Yeah, best to keep it away from small children. And if anything, I'm pretty sure this would just leave a scratching dent on anything. Invigorator. The unique perfume of this item will destroy drowsiness, making endless nights a walk in the park. This invigorator is perfect for those who have to work even when they least want to. I have that from time to time, on days in which I get tired during work. But all I just need is a cup of coffee, and it gets me going. It even keeps me going throughout my day. Milk Tub Fathers throughout the universe, take note. If your family dislikes your manly odor, this is for you. Fill your tub with the rich aroma of milk and soak your stench away. Don't be stingy now. Think of the children. Again, I highly do doubt that milk will wash away horrible body odor. Merciless Extractor Squeeze! Squeeze! Had enough? Squeeze! A ruthless savage heart in machine form. No giant fruit can retain its juice in the face of this relentless ringing device. If you are greedy down to the last drop, this is for you. When I drink, I uh, tend to get greedy. Like I just try to gulp everything down without even giving a second thought. And if I'll be honest, usually in my daily life, I get more thirsty than hungry. 
which is why on more than one occasion, I constantly have to drink some water. Or some other beverage like that. Even soda. That's just so you guys know. Broken Food Master. Behold the heavenly sparkle of this, one of the three sacred treasures of Samadash. Now you can own the artifact of endless food and drink. Of course, to a tongueless machine such as me, this is all completely meaningless. Yeah, I think that sales pitch altogether was meaningless. Also guys, I said before that this looks like a frying pan. That's actually a ladle, so I'm sorry for that error. But I believe I did correct myself on that. Utter scrap. Throw this flimsy piece of scrap metal out. Or can garbage this banal become a work of art? Hmm. Possibly. After all, the old saying, one man's trash can be another man's treasure. Does he have anything else to say? No, he doesn't. Okay. Keep moving, Multi Game Master 1. I have nothing else to say about this product. Alright, alright. Jeez.